Yeah, this is this is not the Bayo Cloud matchup by any means, my man. So we're going to Palu Temple. Um, this might be a button check. They it, it might just be playing here, honestly. This is a very good Omega. Kind of a lot like FD. Yeah, looks like they go for it. A lot of people saying set, set, uh, a lot of people have said that FD is kind of uh, distracting because of you know the, uh, the the crazy stuff going on in the background. So right now we are going to see a lot of control come out for Freelancer Leo. Frozen, I don't know exactly how he feels about this matchup personally, but. I do know that Fumato Leo right now a little bit on fire off of that win on Cyber, playing very carefully, playing very smart. Possibly feeling himself right now. Okay. So right now. Now frozen. Okay, frozen. Right now with some control here. Leo just popping up that forward air. Very safe about it. And one thing about this matchup too is that I think like these guys kind of have like a projectile game that is not uh, bad by any means. You know, for Frozen uh, does have the no, he doesn't want to. Okay, Frozen the neutral B is um, should be very strong. Um, also, obviously Mewtwo with the neutral B can charge it up. So that is that is very strong. All right, the forward air also very strong. Frozen's gonna manage to. No, he won't. That spoke too soon. The answer just weave weaving off the ledge right there, throwing out his own swipe, and that will do it. Very strong position here. Frozen just kind of trying to get in with the nair. Good use of the counter by Frozen, but Leo was facing the wrong way. Yeah, right there. Now I wish Frozen was a bit more aggressive with that insta pin on the ledge. Because I believe if you face, if you do it off the ledge the other way, so that you're front is facing towards the stage, you should be able to counter all the options. Could be interesting, my man, but looks like right now, Frozen able to close out that stock. You know, I'm still getting over the fact that we're on Power's Temple, right? Like, it's been so long since I've seen the stage being played on. It's, it's kind of pretty, though. It's a nice stage. I mean, everyone's too concerned about what Omegas you can and can't use, but it's a nice stage. you got the uh, goddess herself. Absolutely. Is Whoa! -ho -ho! We have a Shadow Ball Jab Lock, two and Disable, two Side Smash. Some crazy stuff coming out from Leo right now. Though Frozen is slowly closing that gap. And right now, Frozen has surpassed Leo's gap. Right there, very dominant from Leo at first, but Frozen just coming right back. And there's beating at the up air. Uh, he did read that air dodge too, just missing that forward smash. Hey, that, that might kill, That's and that'll do, do it. it. And Frozen just playing from behind that entire game until the very end, and he just kind of took flight, and he just completely took control. Really strong play by Frozen. Free after Leo, kind of losing steam at the end, but, you know, like, uh, at the very beginning, he's playing very strong. Sure, he's not too phased by this at all. He's too, too uh, play each other quite right, often. so Leo's going to counterpick to Battlefield. Interesting choice. Yeah, both these guys, city boys, you know, they do play each other quite often. But yeah, now we got the Battlefield pick. This is um, Leo's pick as well, using those triplats to his advantage. The Frozen just coming out of the gate swinging. Very nice. Oh, that, that, was a, that was a show off the counter, if I do say so myself. All right, so. Ooh, getting caught in that Shadow Ball. Leo has the advantage, probably approaching uh, the up throw range. Yeah, Leo just kind of weaving around Frozen right now. Frozen looking like he's taking control at first, now at high percent though. But honestly, they're, they're definitely both at kill percent. So this before, I'll say it again. Mewtwo is totally a glass pen. Oh, and the up air, that's not going to do it. Good DI from Leo. 
Oh, that forward air. That swipe is going to do it. Going to Leo right now. Up a stock. 100% on deck, though. He does have a bit of rage that might help him. Oh my gosh. Great catch with the up air. Catching an air dodge right there. Really, really, really strong by Frozen. Now both these guys just feeling each other out in neutral. They don't want to commit too, too hard here. Forward throw at ledge. Leo uh, taking some stun with him control here. But Frozen could easily close that cap. He did it last game, too. My god, really nice down here. Doing a lot of percent. The interesting thing about this matchup, too, is that Mewtwo, he, he figured he might struggle against this joint a little bit, but Leo seems to be making it work uh, a lot. You know, he's got some really good tools in neutral. Frozen, though, very, obviously, very proficient at, at with his spacing and just, like I said before, he's very proficient at just knowing what to use at the right time. Got that bite. Good out. Do a number on Mewtwo's shield, but not going to do any actual percent. Okay, so now we got some pins coming through. These guys looking at pretty even percents. Both of them kind of at. Oh my god, Leo. Very aggressive down air. Now Leo, like I said, like I said about Leo, he's just kind of this player that you see him laying back, and then all of a sudden you blink, and he's all over you. I was in a little bit more of a uh, collected neutral, I believe. You know, Leo's very erratic, very unpredictable. But right there. That was that was predictable to Frozen, because he did read that air dodge. Both these guys playing very strong these two games, but Frozen able to clinch it out barely both times. We're going on to a, a game three in this best of five set. Leo looks like he's Leo kind of thinking a little bit right here. I see Cheese and Vinny in the background showing out. And Spanker, I believe. She has a Spanker. He caused a lot of upsets today. Not bad. He's not bad. So now we're going back to Battlefield. This is Leo's pick. He wants to run it all the way back. Frozen, though, staring at just, you know, he's looking at he's, he's looking at the light at the end of the tunnel. Freelance Leo still all the way at the beginning. This could be very difficult for Freelance Leo to clutch out, but we have seen reverse Leo's here at Aeon before. And right now, Frozen trying to just kind of play some more footies. Like I said, this feels like Leo takes a lot of control at the beginning, but then Frozen just kind of slowly catches up and then makes the right plays. Right now, Frozen coming out of the gate, swinging once again. to land safely. Leo manages to land the platform. The bike gonna come through. Not gonna kill just yet. Drop shield at the last second. Okay, back throw. Gonna get some... Uh, gonna get some, Oh, another counter. I think he's countering those. You know, it's kind of fancy. Okay, so that will do it. Again, Leo. This is the third time he's taken the lead. But we have to keep in mind, Fro Frozen's been able to close it every time. So, Leo... Got to play safe here. He's got to play very smart. Going to be very difficult, but absolutely doable for a player of his caliber. Got a really nice chain. Game that Nair to forward error. Core encounter. Not going to kill Leo just yet, though. Now Leo just doesn't want to commit too hard, but Frozen is going to make sure he pins him down. And right now, Leo on his tournament stock against Frozen. This could be a clean 3-0. But Freelancer Leo definitely still has the capability of bringing this back. So Frozen just moving with such confidence and juggling Freelancer Leo so well right now. And up smash, is that going to kill? No, not yet. Did get the tip hitbox, but it's not going to do it just yet. Really good air dodge read by Frozen, though. Got some pins coming in. Up B. Now, what are we going to see from these guys? Oh my god! Aggressive use of a counter. So Frozen's just going nuts with these counters. He's throwing them out a lot. He's getting it a lot. Oh, and that pin might do it, but great DI from Freelancer Leo. He will live on. Now, this is looking very, very bleak for Freelancer Leo. He definitely still has to keep. He could definitely do this, though. Okay. He's an offstage. Freelancer Leo needs this. Going for a disable. Okay. 
This is just getting very, very tight right now. Throwing out a Nair in neutral. Oh my god, and just reading that up smash. Going to do it for Gacho Leo. Putting himself on the map in this set. Taking a game. So now we just gotta see where Leo is going to. Well, actually, it is Frozen's pick, so we, are, we gotta see where Leo is going to take this. I think Solarth is hopping on. I can't really tell if he's trolling me. Oh, he is actually hopping in. Okay, so give my uh, dry throat a rest a little bit, but. My somewhat corn expertise. Yeah, somewhat corn expertise. Um, this is Solarth. So, um, losers finals. Game for Freelancer Leo. Able to, to clutch that last game out after being down 2-0. This is looking a lot brighter for him. Leo with the nice conversions. Yeah, Leo, like I said, like he's he's just such an erratic and ex explosive player. Like he just does these really strange things and they always work. It's kind of crazy to watch. It's honestly a very good time. So now, forward airs. Yeah, Freelancer Leo moving with a bit more confidence right now. I can tell that he's definitely feeling it. Frozen being pushed back to ledge a lot. And that's not a position uh, Frozen wants to be in. If it was the other way around the first two games, but now maybe Leo's kind of like, you know, kind of getting it, you know? Yeah, he seems to be turning it around a lot. Some more nares. Freelancer Leo using that massive hitbox on that nair. Kind of try to drag Frozen in. Frozen, though, going for his pins. Oh, oh my god, two frame, the yeah. two frame right there. Tipper going to kill. Freelancer Leo, once again. Third set, I noticed he, uh, he's been looking for a two frame Tipper a lot. Yeah, and Frozen, you know, just like get what he wishes for right there. Freelancer Leo trying to meet it with his own two frame, but he Ooh, will get the nice up smash frame. instead. Frozen just looking for an opening on that platform. Now Frozen playing, kind of approaching Leo a lot here. Trying to poke at Leo safely. Ooh, nice platform drop through. Also, I just want to note this. Can we talk about uh, Frozen's frog tag? Like, what's, what's up with that? Oh, Froze. Oh my god, I literally thought Froze said frog. My you guys. My B. Yo, imagine if he was rocking the frog tag though, like actually though. I, I don't see Frozen as much of a much of a frog though, but. But anyway, we are back in this game. Frozen standing at high percent. Ooh, you're gonna throw him back. Up there might have done it from the platform. Surprise didn't go for it. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly, maybe. I'm sure he didn't want to stale it. Throwing out that nair right out of shield, Ooh. back throw. Almost. Oh my god, definitely fishing for a fair there, but fading back. Frozen's not gonna bite. Frozen just trying to space out very safely. He could be seeing this go to a game five here. These guys playing very carefully. Frozen finally managing to get the grab. Oh, my right there. got it! Right there. Oh my god, free to Leo. Set. I'm seeing that. Quick, quick fist bump right there. Frozen can take it over free to Leo. 3-1. Before, before Grand starts, I'm gonna hop.